Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. You with my eyes still Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be a baby swaddle tutorial. I just wanted to quickly pop in and intro this video, show my face for a bit, but the rest of this video is actually going to be my husband talking. If you see my other videos, Corey is my husband and he primarily swaddles Jude and has gotten very, very good at it. A few people have complimented his swaddle when they saw Jude swallowed up and thought it was me and I was like nope it's not me Cory is a swaddle master in our household so let's just get right to the tutorial all right so the most important first step here is to make sure your baby's at about the 25 percent mark you know here's the 50 percent 7500 in doing so you allow just the right amount of material left to bring it over your baby and under the side to tuck it in for a nice little secure start. First, take your baby's arm, hold it down. This is kind of a key step throughout the entire process. You hold their arm down, and when you come across, you continue to hold their arm down while you work on tucking underneath, still holding that arm down. Same thing over here. The arm's kind of held down now because we've tucked it. Hold this arm down, come across with the other side of the material. You can see she's trying to pull her arm up there, continuing to hold it down. Then we're gonna come all the way underneath her, or him, depending on your baby. <laughs> Have just enough material left to tuck it in right here. This is the tricky part because the baby seems to get the most upset at this point in the process. I think by pulling this down, it kind of creates a little bit of a tighter barrier for the baby, and they don't really like that. But once you do it, they're generally fine and I guess decide to make weird noises like that. Afterwards, pull them up a little bit further because you'll probably notice that whole process kind of pulled them down towards where you're standing. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna wanna flatten it out. I know it sounds weird because you've got this all bunched up there, but you're just gonna take this and flick it up to the baby. Now from here, you're gonna wanna kinda fray out your edges or whatever that word is so that everything is ready for you to work with it. Again, going with about the 25% rule, we're essentially going to be doing the same thing. Bringing it under. Now what you want is either just past the baby's shoulder or just before it, like right there, depending on how much you started with. And then you're going to kind of seal that right here by holding it with your other hand. And then coming back around with the other 75%. Let me straighten her out here for you. Now make sure once you do that first turn, that you kind of take your edge right here, you see how it's underneath her, and pull it out. I'll give you a little bit more space to go over and under once more. And we don't care about how much loose space is at the bottom of our baby. In fact, that's a good thing for their legs to be able to stretch out even further. Coming back down and under, and the last step is hooking it in here. It looks like I'm not quite as far as I would like to be. I'd like to get it right here. That's the most ideal. However, obviously you can just turn your baby over and tuck it in there. I will say anytime you tuck it in on the back, it's actually not as secure as if you're able to get it up in front of her shoulders. So what I'll even do for the purposes of this video is we'll undo this step and see if we can redo it to the point where I can get that type of a secure hook. The solution to give yourself a little more room at the end is to start with a little less. So now I'm hoping I don't go all the way past her shoulder. I want to go kind of 75% of the way across your back like that and we're gonna come back around and you don't want this part to be super tight I've been learning with Jude that it's better to actually just kind of do this loosely the first part you want tight but the second part not as big of a concern so we're coming back around same thing we did before and now I have just enough left to hook in another step I'll give you if you're afraid of this getting in the way of your baby's mouth is to just tuck that down like that and then again coming up with your little excess tucking it in they don't like that part but that will give you that secure hold you're looking for and there's our bundled baby got room to move her legs side to side and of course plenty of room down here 
And she's a long girl. She's 26 inches. Yeah, this this is the bottom of her feet right here. And there's a little extra room. Yeah, which so if, don't really and she's that. three months. So if by chance your baby is longer than her or as tall as her, you'll still even have room. And this is the mushy swaddle. You can get it on their website and Amazon. It's pretty affordable. We wash them often, so we only have three. So I'm washing most of them every week and it still looks great. The color has stayed, the feel has stayed. And to end the video. We're just gonna undo it because it doesn't even matter, June. <laughs> it's not her Woo! nap time, and we're uh, kind of transitioning her from the swaddle. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny, Gee? You said no nappy? You're all done. All done. <laughs> and there is a swaddling tutorial for you. I will leave the link to the mushy swaddle in the description down below. We have three of their colors. As I mentioned, they have many other colors. Make sure to hype up this video because I did have to convince Corey to film this. I think he did a fantastic job and I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Bye.